Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Chisa. Today I have a book to share with you called Pumpkin Jack, written and illustrated by Will Hubble. When Tim carved his first pumpkin, it was fierce and funny and just perfect. A jack-o'-lantern this good deserved a name. So Tim gave it one, Jack. Long after the best trick-or-treat candy was eaten, Tim still kept Jack. At night, when a candle made Jack's face dance on the wall and filled the dark with warm pumpkin smells, Tim felt Jack was almost magic. Yet, too soon, the spell was broken. This pumpkin is beginning to rot, announced Mom. It's time to throw it out. Tim knew it was useless to argue. He carried Jack to the garden, which was filled with the brown ghosts of last summer's plants. A dead garden is better than a trash can, thought Tim. Still, it made him sad to leave Jack outside and alone. Whenever chores or play brought Tim to the garden, he looked at Jack. Every time, Jack was different. He became wrinkled, and his fierce smile began to look silly. Mold spread over Jack's bright orange skin. As the days turned colder, Jack grew flatter. Winter began. Soon Jack was hidden beneath snow, and Tim forgot about him. The cold, heavy jacket days came. Snowman and sliding days, indoor days, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Valentine's. When all these days had passed and the March winds melted the snow, Tim found Jack. There wasn't much left. Just a faded and crumpled pumpkin skin, a stem, and a few seeds. Jack's Halloween magic was a distant memory now. Tim scraped a thin blanket of earth over the last bits of his pumpkin. Goodbye, Jack, he whispered. When spring turned barefoot warm, a tiny sprout appeared where Jack had been. Tim found it and guessed what it was. In the days that followed, Tim weeded and watered and watched the sprout. Slowly and steadily, the plant changed and grew. It branched and spread a web of vines over the ground, but no pumpkin appeared. The days turned hot. Flowers opened on the plant each morning, yellow stars that twisted shut forever in the afternoon. Still, there were no pumpkins. Finally, Tim found a little green ball growing behind a crumpled blossom, a pumpkin. Tim let out a whoop and ran to show his mom. By August, the plant had spilled onto the lawn. Tim's favorite game became pumpkin hunting. He carefully waded among the leaves, searching for green pumpkins like hidden treasures. School began again and the days cooled. Tim had less time to visit the garden. When he did, the pumpkin plant seemed tired. There were few new leaves, and the old tattered ones no longer hid the fat green pumpkins. Then, one October morning, Tim woke to see frost coating the garden. The frozen plants seemed changed to pale blue glass. After school, Tim discovered what the frost had done. The pumpkin plant sleeves were as limp as wet paper. It was dying. Tim searched among the withered leaves for the unripe pumpkins. He picked them and put them on the front porch, hoping for one more change. By Halloween, the pumpkins had ripened to bright orange. There were many, for the plant had been generous. Tim was generous too. He gave away all but one. From jack-o'-lantern to seed, to pumpkin again, the circle was almost complete. Now it was time for Tim to do his part. He gave his pumpkin a face. It smiled at him in a fierce and funny way. Tim smiled too and said, welcome back, Jack. That's the end of our story. Thank you for listening. Please join us again soon. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.